I think one of the problems is the way we use the word salvation. In the Bible, you have verses that speak of us being saved, of us having been saved, and, and of us, we shall be saved, receiving the end of the, your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Most often in the manner in which we speak of it, it, it has everything to do with the first being born again. So. Uh, in that sense, we are defining salvation more as conversion. Uh, in that case, of course, we want to make it crystal clear that it's not by works, lest any man should boast. It's all uh, by grace through faith and not of yourselves. Uh, but this faith must never just stand alone. Even with the thief on the cross, there was fruit that was coming from his belief. He was expressing concern with the other thief. He was asking Jesus to remember him when they died. Uh, faith in that instance, faith without works is dead, as James said, or Paul put it like this in Galatians 5, 6. In Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. The only thing that matters is faith that works through love. So uh, to obey is the fruit of faith in God. Now, if it's just faith in the scripture, then the majesty, the awesomeness, the sovereignty, the totality of ownership of God, of us, may be lost because you're dealing with texts, with truth. That's why obedience is always a personal thing of a creature to his creator. And I think it's vital to remember the lesson that uh, Saul uh, learned from Samuel when he said, I've obeyed. And yet he didn't really obey the command of the Lord to destroy everything that uh, he had seized. Uh, Samuel reminded him to obey is better than to sacrifice. Sacrifice, of course, was worship. To obey is better than to sacrifice, and to hearken is better than to offer the fat of rams. We think of what Jesus said as well uh, in the upper room. He that loveth me will keep my commandments, and I and my Father will come into him and will manifest ourselves to him. Uh, I think obedience is just the fruit of real love, real faith. It's never perfect. It's never that which justifies us, but it really is what authenticates our faith as being a truly justifying faith. <music>